Dear students, today we will discuss that the prototype drug of fluoroquinolones that is the ciprofloxacin. Generally, number of doctors as well as number of students, nursing staff, whatever medical staff, generally they called ciprofloxacin as an antibiotic, but is a not an antibiotic. It is an antibacterial as we have discussed that is the fluoroquinolones category means it is a totally synthetic that is antibacterial okay and it is a basically prototype drug means I mean to say it is a representative example for the fluoroquinolones okay means we have just completed the thing that is the ciprofloxacin kya hai that is a fluoroquinolones or antibacterial how it is antibacterial come to the mechanism of action how it is mechanism of action do uh, as you know that is the dna gyrase enzyme also known as topo isomerase third which is involved in the dna replication it inhibit means ciprofloxacin inhibit the dna gyrase enzyme which results no uh, DNA replication. Okay, if do, no DNA replication means there will be no growth of particular bacteria. Okay, means stop bacterial growth. Clear? This is the mechanism of action. This is the one of the uh, um, objective type question. Ki which enzyme is inhibited by fluoroquinolones or ciprofloxacin? Okay. Come to the next point. That is a broad spectrum antibacterial. A highly effective uh, against gram negative bacteria. Say, example that is blue pus, pestilus bacteria, Cisella, Salmonella, or Gonococci. Okay, these are the few examples which are uh, susceptible uh, to. Uh, ciprofloxacin okay now on the basis of this category on the basis of mechanism the uses of these uh, ciprofloxacin that is the it may be used in urinary tract infection respiratory infection as well as biliary tract infection means the treatment of uh, these disease by bacterial um, uh, that is onsa uh, dna gyrase inhibitor means ciprofloxacin now come to the uh, structure of ciprofloxacin as we have discussed that is the structure of ciprofloxacin that is a quinoline quino lean derivative means we are num giving the numbering to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay uh, try to understand and see uh, just to try to understand like this Suppose this one the our um, quinoline, um, quinoline ring system. It is the quinoline ring system. Fine. Quinoline have a two double bond. Means here, this is the quinoline. Okay, quinoline. Now, next one. If I will draw the structure in uh, another form, uh, if I will uh, just drawing drawing that in this form. Okay, here. Here two double bonds are there, but I have put the only one double bond and one double bond is saturated. How it can be saturated by addition of two hydrogen atoms means it, it is a quinoline. If we are adding the two hydrogen, then its name is uh, where we have put it the and, uh, hydrogen means one, two, three, and four. Means fourth position is the saturated one and one position is the saturated one. Means one and fourth position having a hydrogen additional to quinoline. Means one, four dihydroquinoline. Okay. 1,4 dihydroquinoline. This is the basic ring system as we have discussed. Similarly, on the basis of this, we are uh, trying to write the IUPAC name of this molecule. Just uh, means 1,4 uh, dihydroquinoline. Means try to understand. Uh, see this one, the quinoline. Okay. 1,4 dihydro, we have put at this one. Okay. Um, now, next point is. Uh, Fourth position have ketone group. If we are having a, uh, as a prefix, then we will uh, would like to write as a four oxo. Uh, that at the same time, sixth position have a six chloro. At the same time, uh, next one is the one, one position one, that is the cyclopropyl. Similarly, 
नेक्स्ट वन व्हाट इज रिमेनिंग दिस इज ओके दिस इज ओके दिस इज ओके देन रिमेनिंग दिस वन सेवंथ पोजीशन ओके सेवंथ पोजीशन दिस वन दैट इज द बेसिकली पाइप्रिजीन पाइप्रिजीन हैविंग अ सब्स्टिट्यूशन एट फर्स्ट पोजीशन इटसेल्फ एंड सेवंथ पोजीशन ऑफ क्यूनोलिन मींस we have put the seventh um, for the quinolidine system and piperazine and one yl are putting we are that um, that's why because it is attached itself first position okay means one yl that is the um, in first position of piperazine then third position indicate the carboxylic acid that is the carboxylic acid in this form it is the iupac name of this ciprofloxacin so in generally I, it comes in the competitive different high level competitive exams that may be drug inspector that may be gpet or on different competitive exams okay now on the basis of uh, mechanism action you can just learn on the usage of uh, what uh, ciprofloxacin clear the synthesis of ciprofloxacin how we can synthesize it is very easy synthesis try to understand that is the 4 fluoro 3 chloroaniline how it is that is numbering 1 2 3 4 okay that is four position and fluorine and third second position is the chloro that is aniline okay and next one is that is uh, what is this basically and how we can understand the uh, this structure try to understand see uh, suppose uh, ch2 c double o h and c double o s this is mevalonic acid okay mevalonic acid now uh, i think it will be the mevalonic acid apart from this apart from this uh, above structure is the ester of mevalonic acid that is uh, ethyl mevalonate what is that above that is ethyl ethyl mevalonate it, it is mevalonate okay and this was this part is basically what is this this one is the ethoxy and this part is the ethyl uh, methylene means ethyl mevalonate is the above part and methylene ethoxy ethoxy is this one and methylene this one okay it is very simple structure uh, if we are uh, having a in first look then that is a very complex but if we will close look to the what is exactly and what is the uh, which from derived derivative that is from mevalonic acid it is very simple then okay it is very easy to understand that is uh, first step that is condensation basically condensation how Uh, condensation take place. Try to understand. Uh, this NH2 group is H and this methoxy part. This methoxy and this one hydrogen remove as a C alcohol moiety and it is attached as such. Okay, this is our intermediate. Okay, similarly, uh, means CH group. Uh, this one the carbon having the double bond. This one and all both um, uh, uh, carboxylic groups esters are there. Now, uh, if you will uh, simply uh, that is heating that is the heating process uh, during heating it undergo the cyclization by removal of that is ethanol means c2h5oh removal hoga then removal after removal that is the cyclization means reaction number 2 that is known as cyclization okay cyclization come to the next this is our uh, means uh, this um, Uh, carbonyl group will attach here this on um, methoxy uh, ethoxy group remove as or remove hydrogen from here and ethoxy group from here and remove as a ethanol okay and a whole uh, drug molecule uh, intermediate is this one this uh, is the key to our basic uh, structure or just resemble to the our ciprofloxacin now now come to the we are going to uh, al alkylation that is the cyclo uh, propane derivative that is the bromide derivative is very simple hbr is the removal simple hbr removal it is in presence of pyridine then it is the uh, addition means that is our third step that we can say alkylation okay alkylation alkylation uh, means uh, means that is the uh, i mean to say addition of Um, cyclopropane this is the cyclopropane addition next step this one the our ester group okay ester group easily hydrolyzed by mean of alkaline condition means first we undergo anoh means hydrolysis 
means uh, if we un, uh, hydrolyze by NUS then it gives sodium salt of that then at the next step we would like to introduce HCl which results the formation of respective carboxylic acid this is the carboxylic acid here removal of um, that is ethanol C2H5OH okay means it is our fourth step that is I uh, come hydrolysis okay this is hydrolysis clear and this is the basic structure and uh, only one remaining part this is the chlorine in uh, our drug that is the piperazine moiety then um, we are having a piperazine molecule in this step and HBH and Cl will be removed minus HCl and uh, this, this is our drug uh, drug that is our ciprofloxacin okay it is the very simple one and last one is the simply we can say uh, condensation reaction that is our fifth reaction that is condensation okay in this fashion we can just correlate uh, the synthesis uh, if we uh, look the complete structure of ciprofloxacin then uh, we would, we can easily understand uh, from this part we will take in initially this part means fluoro amino and here we would like to have a chlorine Okay, means this part or uh, this uh, this is the initial uh, inter, uh, starting material and on the basis of requirement of this part we are taking having a mevalonic acid derivative, mevalonic acid derivative and uh, next um, that is a condensation, condensation after cyclization, cyclization after uh, alkylation, alkylation after um, that is the hydrolysis, hydrolysis after again condensation with the piperazine moiety. This is all about the synthesis of what uh, cipro. Okay.